All right, everybody, Baron here. Welcome back to the channel. So, what are we going to be playing today? Well, I would like to call it Kingdoms and Castles in Space. Yes, that's right. Now, this is a game jam game. Now, you gotta remember, Totally Echo Battle Simulator was a game jam game. A game jam game. A GJG. That's, I don't know, for some reason it's kind of tricky for me to say. Regardless, we are going to be playing this game today. Now, this was made in 72 hours, but what I love about this is it's kind of a really cool concept. Look at this. We're literally on a planet floating in space. So let's go ahead. We can randomize and have like different, different looking, what would you call them, planetoids? And we have to use this, and land is added over time to this. So they do have plans for the future. Um, so I, I wanted to check this game out. All right, so we got to... I want to... That's kind of a weird-looking map. Ooh, this one's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm going to... Nah. Here we go. We're, we're going to... That one's kind of cool. I want water that's surrounded by land. Because uh, there's a little bit of randomness to it. Oh, I think I can use this map. Come on, give me a good map. Dude, I, yeah, th this one is it. This one is it. So we have to place our town hall. Let's place it here. Now we have to build the shipyard. This is where like, the whole point is to be able to get off the island. This is like how you win. You get enough resources. And look at that, see that? Tiles are being added. Oh my God, that's actually awesome. Okay, so first things first, we have to, if I hold shift, over this I can kind of see what they do if I don't yeah see hold shift for info and you can see there's a slight change in color there is a day night cycle must be built on forests gives wood every few seconds requires two workers if you look in the top right hand you can see we have six people six workers 50% happiness so let's go ahead and get some we're gonna put that right next to it and then let's get we're gonna get a mining shack and we're gonna put it on these rocks and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a uh, windmill, but I think before that we're gonna need to get a house. We're gonna build a big old house here. And then let's see, we're gonna start populating behind. Right here seems pretty good, right? Yeah, now we're gonna need a windmill and I wanted this one kind of in a big area that he can surround himself with farms. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. So let's see, we got five workers. And then these orchards, I don't think orchards require any workers. So we should have a good amount of food coming in. We've got wood and stone, and remember that land is constantly being added to our little island in space. Look at this. Oh, while we were watching, this was just an, uh, a little peninsula. What is that? What was that? It's raining. Crops will go much faster. Bring an umbrella. Oh, and you gotta click the. F they, there's kind of like this little glowing mechanic when it's time to harvest stuff, which is which is nice and convenient. And wood's automatic, and it looks like mining is automatic as well. So let's go ahead and put, now, oh, not enough workers. Well, let's get, let's get a big house. All right, now that that is done, we're gonna get more wood. Look at that, and some wood's just randomly popping out. Not enough workers. Let's let's get another big house again. Put it over here. So look at this. Archer Tower defends a five tile radius and requires two workers. We also have walls. We have a barracks increases increases archery tower speed. Oh my gosh. We uh, wow. We just used up a lot of food. Let's go ahead and get some more food going. Not enough resources. Oh shoot. We need ten. Man, we're, we're gonna need a lot more food. Okay, let's get some farms going. Not enough workers. But these apples are done. Dude, I love it at, so we're gonna get attacked by like space pirates, man. There's gonna be ships and then that's our thing, is at the end, we need to have 300 food, 300 wood, and 300 stone to get this. So, there's basically space pirates that will attack us. And I love it. I think that's such a funny concept. Because it's just gonna, like very much similar to Kingdoms and Castles in rough concept. Build a kingdom, get attacked by pirates. You have no real direct control. Now, unfortunately, I've got a... Let's see. What do we need? We need more food. Wow, these things... I'm gonna put it... In. Not enough. Not enough, guys. Oh, what's this? Space pirates! 
He's attacking the land. So if anything's on... <gasps> Wait a minute. Is he just gonna keep killing stuff? Alright, so that was two tiles down. Can we afford a tower? Of course we can. We don't have the workers for it, though. Well, before he kills that... We're gonna get some food here. We're gonna get a house. And then... Man, this guy's like freaking... Not enough resources. What do we need? We need... There we go. Attack him! Look, now we're defending our kingdom versus the space pirates. <laughs> oh, look, okay, we got new land. There we go. We conquered him. So I'm thinking that, just judging by the initial impressions, we definitely need not enough workers. Man, this is this is like the predicament we've been in before. What do we what do we need for that? 20 and 10. Oh wow, we're low on stone. All right. So let's go ahead and work on food and stone right now. Where's this? This is the mine, right? A mining shack. We need 20 and 10. We have that. Now I'm going to put it here. Oh. Now there's a freaking one over here. We need 40 stone. That's not going to happen. He might destroy. So there's a little bit of RNG they say, right? All right, so what do we need? We need uh, 40. It's not coming in very fast, I'm afraid. I'm not sure if we're, we're gonna be able to get away with this one. He's attacking our houses now, guys. This is real bad. Oh, he turned his attention over there, so it's a little bit random. We lost that tile. 25 and 40. We have zero workers available because a house was destroyed. I'm wondering if we were just defeated, and we just don't even know it yet. So we gotta have a tower up early or you know what we have to have the resources for the tower but we should save it this is literally my first time playing i played for like 30 seconds yeah he's just destroying all these houses lumber depleted not only this wait 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 wait. you know what we're going we're not going down without a fight oh my god there's another pirate ship you gotta be kidding me these space pirates are kicking my tail right here oh and he's out of range of course Oh my god, look how much food. Okay, can we... Wow. Okay, so definitely food in mines. Alright, you know what? We're gonna start over. <laughs> okay, I was not recording in full screen. I had it blown up. <laughs> I think that's so funny. How did I miss that? Okay, back into the little lands. We're going to play this one. Alright, so we gotta place our thingamajig. This has to be protected. We're gonna put that... Oh yeah, where do we want the ship? We'll put the ship... This is like put it there okay what we need is little houses maybe a big house we'll put a big house right here and then this seems like pretty good food it's not automatic but all food isn't anyway okay we're gonna need one lumber and then two mines at least two mines we were lowish on mines now we got to worry about food Oh, you can't put them there. No, you can't put them there. Perfect. Okay. So, we're waiting for food to kind of get up. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We, we, we low on food. These little baby apple trees. So, there is a bit of RNG. Random number generation. A.K.A. RNG Jesus. In our townspeople must pray to RNG Jesus for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Basically, just some good luck. Or else we're doomed. Alright, so... We, we need food. We need... Can we get a windmill? We can definitely get a windmill. Where should we put the windmill? Dang. I would need a tile, like, right here. I feel like this would be a pretty decent spot for it. Alright, we're out of workers. Let's go ahead and get another house. Good. I tell you what, things are starting to get cramped around here. I definitely haven't been able to optimize, you know, like, when... Come on, give me the food, give me the food. We are so low on food. These apple trees take a while, so maybe apple trees aren't the best to start with. Maybe um, farms are. But we are getting a fair amount of this, so we need to always have a reserve for a tower for whenever the first pirates pop up. Oh, and those are single, single bits of food. Wow, that's kind of rough. Okay, and apple trees give you two. I think, I think farms give you one. Now... What is this? Oh. What's this? A storehouse. Auto collects resources for you. 
Oh, wow, but it is 70 apples. Now that, so we're basically gonna have to manually get food until, look at this, oh my gosh, I'm nervous. And then you've got these little physical indications, the farm fields kind of glow, the apple trees put apples, sometimes you'll get tiles that have a berry bush. And, um, but yeah, like I said, we've got to eventually, this is kingdoms and castles in space with space pirates. Uh, who doesn't like pirates? I, I'm raising my hand, I like pirates. That's right. So, it's, and it's also a little planet game. There's something about, like, games where you control a little planet or influence build on it that I really, really enjoy. All right. We're getting more tiles added to us. What is that? That's my wood farm. Wood farm, we'll call it that. All right, um, let's add another house. Because I want more jobs. I want more farms. Look at that. Big house only gives us a little bit. All right, oh shoot, you know what we need is we need a house before the space pirates get here. Because the tower requires two workers. And it only has a five tile radius, so this is gonna be kind of Oh, that's some decent food, though, there, boys. That's right. All right, where's the space pirates at? Oh, there they are. Oh, crap. That was fast. I, I was, <laughs> was talking all this crap. All right, we'll put it here. He's gonna just... Yeah, there we go. We're defending the island. Okay. So, a little bit better than last time, right? Now, so this was made in the game jam, like I was saying earlier. I really wonder... I wonder if there's like a good news source for like, hey, this game jam is happening now and these guys are competing in it and doing cool stuff. I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to I want to invest in this thing that auto mines for me, a storehouse. Then all of the food will be automatic. So I need 70 for it, but I definitely have to save up for Look at that. And our people consume food every every day cycle. We have 95% happiness, a population of 23, and we've got two extra workers. It's just showing how many are available. But for being made in 72 hours, this is pretty cool. Man, it is getting freaking dark here. Um, should we do another house? Probably, right? I want it. Oh, wow. Is this getting bigger? Or is it just me? I'm going to put in a house there. All right, so we're ready. Oh, tree de trees depleted? Well, how do I... Oh, is he in range? Oh, gosh. Maybe that was a bad spot because he could get... But I didn't want to put it too close here. We're, we're gambling right here. We've defeated him. I don't know if this has health. I think he probably has to fully destroy it. I wonder if an apple tree is even worth it. Apple trees don't cost... Oh my, what? These things get depleted? Oh my. This is... This keeps you busy. All right, more pirates. We've got two at a time. They're under attack. Now, there is a way to... Look at this building. It's called a... Uh, what is it? It's called... Here it is. A barracks. It's 10 and 20. I'm gonna put one here. Not enough workers. Oh, you need four workers for it, right? Okay, well, we're gonna do that. Now, it should boost this tower here. I wish you could click on it and see the range increase, but I like this automatic um, food generation. So our apple trees are starting to generate. We've got a few scattered around. I'm not really worrying about protecting them too much. But I am putting them near water. Let's see. Put some there. Let's go ahead and not have workers, man. This whole workers thing. I wish there was a way to boost the workers, but you can by putting them near town hall, which I kind of put the ship freaking thing there. Oh, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Oh, they're gonna get two tiles for free. And then we should be able to start firing now. Yeah, excellent. Okay. All right, how's everything going over here? Probably could use some more food. Actually, dude, I feel like we're starting to slowly get ahead. Now we can also use these wall sections, but since I can't really, wait, can I put them in space? Oh, you can't, only on the existing land, unfortunately. But I could put one out here 
and they could prove to be like distractions, right? So that's what those look like. <laughs> okay, let's start. Man, this whole workers thing. Our happiness is really, really strong. I'm gonna try to put a few more houses out there, get more workers. I think currently our layout of towers is pretty good. We'll probably need one up here at some point, maybe even up, actually that seems like a pretty good spot right here. Or we could put one, oh, there we go. Nice little bit of wood, a little bit of free wood. So let's see, This the ship to escape and win costs 300. Oh my god! Four freaking space pirates at once? This is nuts! Get away from my land! And this one's attacking here. Now, should we build a tower up here? I think we should. Because this... Oh wow, these stone towers definitely take a beating. It looked like we fired an... Lumble, lumber's depleted, trees depleted. Let's go ahead, Lumble. Dude, when I get excited, I slur my words. All right, we've got five workers. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming those were trees that were depleted. I'm gonna get a mine though, just to kind of make sure we're safe. Ooh, nice berry bush. Well, look at that. Let's give me, give me the opportunity to do that. Not enough workers. I'm gonna put a walled section here. I, I feel like we're really starting to really get ahead in this game. Space Pirates versus My Kingdom. And I really like the auto-gatherer. We're almost at 300 food, so what we need to do is start working on the other resources. All right, so right now I'm just trying to get this escape ship as fast as possible, because look at this, the pirates are coming in fast. I've got no towers over here. This is the closest one. And there's no tile to really bump him up with the archer. Could put this guy here. Not enough workers. Put a wall section there. Oh, there we go. That one's starting to defend. There's that's he's really the closest guy, isn't he? Oh, there we go. Good, 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 good. He's attacking that area. We need more open area on that southern flank. So we can put up more walls. We're getting a lot of development here. Alright, so how close? Here we go. We're about 50% completed, a little over now. Almost to two-thirds. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. So it looks like we're short on wood. We only have one available worker. But as they require food, and we're doing pretty good on food, not enough resources. Oh, yeah. Wood. There we go. That should definitely help. Three pirates, same time. Mm, this guy can defend. I'm going to put a wall here. <gasps> no, he got it. Can I rotate the camera? That would be really ideal. All right. Trees depleted. I think we're still pretty good on food. I think that goes without saying, but... When, when apple trees only cost food, and you have an abundance of it, mine's depleted. All right, let's do this. Look at that. So we're over 200. Where are we gonna end up? Oh, we, we might just have enough. I think we have enough. I think we can win the game. Let's see what happens. Yeah! We just took our ship into space. Success! Look at this. 19,804 years after the Earth was destroyed. What? Ni what, what, what? Thanks to you, 94 people boarded a ship. Oh man, we could have gotten 100 maybe. All right, what happens next? This is this is kind of funny. And began searching for a new world. And awkward pause. <laughs> Remember, this game was made in 72 hours. It's beautiful, it's charming. It's simple, but it's also free. Download the link in the video description if you'd like to check it out. Hey, where's my next? Is this is this is this going to keep going? Oh wait, look, there's a little rabbit in the stars in the background. Maybe it's a space rabbit and he was leading the pirates. All right, so what happens now? You made it to a bigger world. Oh, look at that, it looks like, looks like Earth. 
quit. Well guys, thank you for watching. Little Lands was made by Robin Field in 72 hours at the Ludum Dare 38. So thank you for this free to game. It's kind of fun, silly, and uh, good times. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, two videos a day. So if you missed the first one, I'll see you in it. And there's going to be another one. So, And also, we're starting up streams now. How have you guys been liking that? Anyway, guys, hope you are having a fantastic Wednesday. And I'll see you in the next video.